But um, this is this is our talk we were having earlier on. Because we, we talked about where photography can be taught. And I, I think the question should be much bigger than that. I, I think whether life can be taught. And I think at the end of the day, any school that's worth its metal has to be judged on the basis of whether it has been able to provide an insight into life, insight into living, a set of values. And uh, uh, we, we looked a lot at, yesterday Robert was showing pictures of Don McCullen and we'd seen pictures of conflict. One of the things that was very significant during the Malai massacre was uh, a set of studies that were being done where people wanted to know who did what. There were people who killed and there were people who didn't. And they looked to see whether there was a statistical difference between those who did and those who didn't, whether they were from poor families or rich families, whether they were you know, from particular broken backgrounds, all sorts of things. And they couldn't find anything that provided a significant correlation, except for one. In the homes where children, as they were growing up, were taught certain values, there, it made a difference. Those who grew up with a sense of values didn't do certain things. Those who grew up without those values did certain things. And I think, at the end of the day, that is all any school can do. It is, can provide a set of values. The actual mechanics of learning things can be done in lots of different ways. I'll just end with one thing. When I wanted to start the school, people thought I was crazy. People think I'm crazy anyway, but that's another issue. Uh, uh, and they thought I was crazy because they thought I was actually undermining my own career. You know, if, if you build a school, if you teach, be before then, to a large extent, the process had been learning was through apprenticeship. And the teacher didn't give away all the secrets. You know, some were guarded, some were given, and given at various levels. And, given out in small doses. Uh, the idea really was that if you're giving away your secrets, they will become your competitors, which is true. They are my competitors, and I'm, I'm very privileged to have them as my competitors. But the point I'm making is that if, and I'm being very concrete here, the person who's gained the most from this is me. Because I have, through this process, had, had we not had this school, had I not, these students who became now my colleagues and friends, I would have worked in isolation. And you can only go so far in an isolated space. And the biggest gift I've had is the fact that these former students who are now my colleagues constantly challenged me, questioned me, provoked me, stimulated me. And I think that is the best any, any school, any learning environment can do. So, come on. <laughs>